Okay, so if like me, you're not the best photographer, but you are learning Photoshop and you're interested in learning how you can make a bad photo good, then stick around because I'm going to show you in this tutorial. Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can take a relatively bad photo and make it considerably better all in Photoshop. And as I say, if you're like me, you take photos, you're not the best photographer, they come out underexposed and all that stuff, but you need good photos. As a creative, you need good photos, you want good photos, you can actually get that in Photoshop and it's pretty easy as well. So I'm going to jump to the screen now and show you how to do this. Right here, so now in Photoshop, you can see we have a picture of some broccoli. If you would like to follow along and download said broccoli, then there will be a link in the video description. Now you can see this isn't a terrible photo. I shot this with a decent camera and a light box, but it's not the best as you'll see. And you can see over here, all this, this is actually dirt on my camera lens. So uh, I definitely, I definitely need to give that a clean. But anyway, we're gonna make this piece of broccoli look fantastic. So I've opened up my JPEG in Photoshop where you might have a raw file, either is fine. And normally we would go up to image, down to adjustments, and you can correct it with these settings here, but there are some much more advanced, powerful settings that we can use. So let's get rid of that. What I'm gonna do first of all is right click on my layer and just duplicate this, click OK. And we'll just give this a name. We'll call this broccoli because of course, and I'm gonna right click and select create smart object or convert to smart object. Now the reason we do this is because if we apply these camera settings in a moment and it's not a smart object, they're gonna be permanent. As a smart object, we can just edit them, delete them, whatever we want. We get a ton more flexibility. Okay, so smart object broccoli. Now what we can do is go up to filter and down to camera raw filter. And let me just resize the window so everything fits on screen. There we go. So we have our broccoli and we get a bunch of settings over here on the right. You can see the scroll bar. So there we go. And we've got lots of different categories here that we can use to color correct our photo and make it look amazing. We're going to stick with the basic tab here. And what we're going to do is we're going to increase the exposure. So first of all, I'm going to bring this up and you can see already that looks much, much better. In fact, we can actually be really lazy and just click auto. And it, it has a go, but it doesn't always get it perfect. So we'll bump up the exposure, not too much or it's gonna look really blown out and just terrible, but a little bit like this. Now, just bumping up the exposure, if you go down here and click on this, it will show you how it looked before versus how it looks now. And already that is a considerable difference. So we've bumped up the exposure. That's the most common issue I face is the light box or the settings that I've used on the camera. They're just a little bit too underexposed. Even if I think I've got it right, if it comes out too dark, then this is how I would get around fixing that in Photoshop. Okay, great. So next we're gonna work on the shadows. So you can see the slider here. So we can make them darker, but we don't really want to do that. So I'm gonna bring them a little bit lighter. And then the whites, you could bring that up all the way or bring it down. So just by using these sliders, you can adjust highlight shadows and whites and blacks in your image. If it all just sounds complicated and you don't understand any of it, just use the sliders. It's absolutely fine. You can see in real time the kind of effect it's having on your image. And if in doubt, just try and find on Google a professional photo of a piece of broccoli or whatever it is you're photographing. See how the professional gets the lighting and then try and mimic that. So highlights, we could maybe bring that down a pinch, push the whites up a little bit more, maybe bring the contrast up over here. And if I scroll to the very bottom, I'm just gonna bring up the vibrance. So we don't wanna bring up saturation because it can look a bit crazy like this. And if you're going for crazy broccoli, then that's fine. But just bringing that vibrance up a little bit just makes it, well, it just makes those colors pop just a little bit more. And the temperature, well, if I make it look like that, it kind of looks like gone off broccoli in this example. So I'll probably leave that where it is, but maybe just bring the, the green tint to the left a tiny bit. Now we've made lots of tiny changes, but if I go down here, you can see that is where we started and that is where we have ended up. Now you can spend much longer on this, but you can see already we've made considerable progress on improving the quality and the lighting of our image. Okay, so there we go. We're happy with what we've done. Click OK. 
and you can see this now becomes listed as a smart filter because we made a smart object at the beginning. So we can turn this off, we can turn it back on, or we can actually just double click on this, go back in, make some changes. So as I say, you get a lot more flexibility, or we can just drag it to the trash and delete it altogether. But we're not gonna do that because uh, I think it looks rather good. And you can actually turn this off and back on as well in your layers panel. And there you go. You can see that is where we started and this is where we ended up. And there we go. So that is how to take a not so great image and make it great all in Photoshop. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you didn't enjoy it, well, you can always find If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.